All right, so this is just the uh, a quick video on the GoLabs R300. Turning it on, first of all, you press the main power button on the upper left-hand corner. Press and hold it for a moment. Then, for the AC standard outlets, press the button on the upper right. So now you can use these standard outlets. If you want to charge something with the USB, turn on that. If you want to use the DC outputs right here, these two, press that. Alright, and to turn it off, just press and hold this. To go over that again, for the AC, just real quick, you get this, uh, take it out of the box, press the main power button, press and hold for a moment, then press the AC button on the upper right. Now you can plug something into the outlets. Now, to recharge this, this comes with several cables. To recharge it from the wall, from your electricity, use the AC adapter. You plug that in to the input, which is on the lower left. Input. This is what you plug everything into that is going to be charging it. So if you charge it through solar or using your car or from the wall, you're going to be using that input right there. All right, so. Once again, to charge this from the wall, from your electricity, take that AC adapter, plug it into the wall, and plug it into input. Then you can charge it from the wall. Now, to charge this from solar, of course you want a standard MC4 solar panel. That is a very common solar panel, the easiest one to work with. So this comes with a, an MC4 cable that you can use for your solar panel. Now, this is for solar. This is the MC4 connector. You plug this into your solar panel if it's MC4 and then you plug this into the input. So for solar, you take this cable that came with this unit, you plug these in to the cables sticking out of the solar panel that uses MC4 and you take this other end and you plug it into input. And that is how you charge from solar using the standard MC4 solar connectors. Now, just to let you know, if you unplug everything from this, it appears that if you leave the AC on, this thing will keep running. It's not like it's, it, it seems to not automatically turn off with that AC on for a while at least. So once you're done using it, just make sure you know, to turn that off. All right, so right now I'm about to hook up the GoLabs 300 to a 50 watt Renogy solar panel. So here's the solar panel. Here's the GoLabs. Now let's see. So I got this connector here. All right, so I just hook these up. All right, so the connectors are hooked up, and then there's this other end, and GoLabs sent this, so that's nice of them. Now let's see, I'm gonna plug it into the input and see what happens. All right, it's charging. Wow, let's see, can you see that? Charging at 34 watts. 35. Okay, and this is off of a 50 watt Renogy solar panel. So the GoLabs is being charged from solar using the cable they sent and plugging, in, plugging that in to the MC4 connectors on the back of the solar panel. Let's see. Still charging at 35 watts. I'm going to put it in the shade here. All right, so I just plugged in the CPAP. I'm at 100%. It's in settling mode, so it's using like 3 watts. I'm about to put it on. I won't be able to speak that well. 
but I'll show you what the wattage goes to without the humidifier. So it's weird how the wattage jumps around. Alright, so I turned this off at 6.30 and let's see, or I didn't turn it off, I took the mask off. It's at 74%. 205 to 630 uh, with a CPAP machine on. 